Hey everyone, Julian here, your personal tech guy, and for this week's video, I thought it'd be a good idea to go over the two most popular navigation apps on the iPhone, which is Apple Maps and Google Maps. By the end of this video, you'll have a good understanding of the basic features of both of these applications, as well as be able to navigate anywhere, and you'll be able to use both of these like a yellow pages to look up different businesses or, or restaurants in your area. If you find this video helpful, I hope that you can uh, like and subscribe. It definitely helps me out and uh, I hope that you like it. So let's get into it. All right, friends, so we're gonna go ahead and start with Apple Maps because that's the application that comes preloaded on your phone. So we'll go ahead and open it up. And the first thing you might notice is this blue dot that's going to show your GPS location and will always show where you are on the map as long as you have a good internet connection. The other thing is you have this search bar. That's where you're going to type in the, an address or the name of the place that you want to go. Say we want to go to LA Live. I can type in here LA Live, which is in downtown, and here it is right here. I can say directions. It's going to show me the directions that I can use while driving. Or down here at the bottom, I have some options too. Like it'll give me walking directions. And maybe I want to take a bus or a train there. I can do transit. And it'll give me the directions to the best transit or bus route to get to that area. Or I can even Uber, call an Uber. If you have Uber on your phone, it'll, it'll connect right to that. And it'll tell you which Uber you can take and approximately how much it'll cost to, to use. So that's a pretty cool feature. The other thing that I really like about these map applications is that you can use them like a yellow pages. So say you want to just find a, a, a service. Maybe you need a roofer. So I can go in here and I can type roof, roofer. And it's going to show me all the different roofing businesses in the area. And when you touch them, it's going to give you information about the business and it's going to tell you what their Yelp rating is, what their phone number, it'll give you some images about their business, um, and it can be really e a really easy way to find a service in your area. The last thing I'll show you is that when you touch into this search, it's automatically going to bring up these different categories that when you touch them, it will pull up all of those different options in the area. So say you want a restaurant in your area. This is going to show all the restaurants and just like the business, you can touch it and it's going to give you their Yelp rating. It's going to give you information about the business, which I think can be really helpful whether it's in your city or if you're out and about traveling. I hope this is helpful for you guys. All right, friends, so we're going to take a look at Google Maps now. This one you have to download from the App Store, but you just have to search for Google Maps and then it'll pop up there. As you can see, you'll see some similarities between this and Apple Maps. You have the blue dot there that shows our location. You have your search bar up here where you can type addresses and, lo and places that you need to navigate to. So if we go ahead and type LA Live and search, it's gonna find that location and I can hit directions. And it's here that I can show the different kind of transit routes just like I can on Apple Maps. I can even order an Uber here. It takes 28 minutes. It'll tell you the approximate cost. Then the other cool thing is you, you, you can search by categories as well. And this one's a little bit more robust than Apple, but you can open that up and say you want to search for one of those categories. Ooh, desserts. It's going to show me all the different dessert places I can look at. It'll give me the information about the business and it'll give me its Google rating instead of its Yelp. So you have those options. But one really cool thing that I like about Google Maps is that whenever you navigate somewhere, it will automatically save your parking location. So as long as you navigate from point A to point B fully, it's going to remember where you park. So the next time you open your app, it'll show you. But if you want to do that manually, you could just touch your touch your blue dot there and it'll say set as parking location and when you zoom in you're going to have a little p on your map so that you can you'll always know where you uh where you parked so see that little p there 
So that I think that's pretty helpful. Uh, the other thing that's cool is you can change your map layers here. We can go satellite. You also have this traffic layer that turns on the traffic, so you'll know what the current traffic is in your location in your area. I think that can be pretty helpful. Green is obviously for go. Red is slowing down and and getting slow. Um, you also have uh, the transit lines that'll pop up here, so you can see where the trains run. Um, and then you have biking lanes. So if, you, if you're a cyclist, that could be helpful for you um, to let you know where all the bike lanes are. Yeah. You can do terrain, which can be helpful. Show you different topo topographical maps. Um, this little arrow is important. That's going to orient you north and south. But, you know, I, I encourage you to go in here, check it out, see how you how you like it. Um, and, you know, you can use both applications, whatever one you like the most. So, um, let me know down in the comments, was this a helpful video for you all? Did you guys like this? Did you learn something? Do you think you'll be using maps in the future? And, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. See you soon.